Hey, what's going on guys? It's JC from Most Movie Effects here, and in today's video, we're going through the brand new pack for DaVinci Resolve M Storyboard. This is the ultimate storyboarding toolkit designed to help you craft together a clear picture of what you want for your project, as well as breaking down the technical aspects of your creations. As a video for myself, I'm really looking forward to be able to use this pack to share my projects and the behind the scenes. So let's dive into it. Once you've installed the pack being the installer, you'll want to head up to the effects tab and search that in. Here you'll find the 72 elements split into five different sections. The M storyboard tab at the top are all of our effects, so we have some really exciting overlays and placeholders. Then we have the add-ons, backgrounds, and typography tabs that are all from the title section. Finishing with the second M story tab, which is all of our transitions. Everything on this pack works in a drag and drop basis. We will either drag the titles onto the timeline or the effects and transitions directly onto the clips. Before we do get started, however, I do just recommend hovering over all of the titles and effects. That way you can start to get a feel for what this pack has to offer. Then if there are any that catch your eye, you can just hit this star button and they go right into your favorite section. We'll start off in the titles tab, going through the typography effects we have. Because they're so simple to use, we won't spend too long in this section. So let's go ahead and drag the first title onto the timeline. The first thing I always do if you're working on a 4K timeline is that you'll want to hit this 4K quality box to ensure the quality and the sizing is correct. Next, we have these in and out points. These are going to control the animation when the layer starts and ends. However, if the layer is too short, the title won't quite animate out due to the amount of time it takes. Next, we have the content controls. This is the overarching control center that controls the entire title. This is where we can manipulate the position, scale, and rotation. And these will be standard across all of the titles. Now, if you move it to a point and you do want to reset it back to default, all you need to do is double click on the option name and it will snap right back. And that actually works for all the parameters inside DaVinci Resolve. From here is where you'll really start manipulating the titles by changing the text, font, colors, and all the other options, just so you can make it exactly how you want it. As you can see, these are pretty good to go straight away without much tweaking needed at all. The last tab you do have is the drop shadow option to help with visibility against a brighter background. Just like I said, super simple. So now heading up into the add-on section, we have a very similar story with the ease of use but these are specific icons that you can use to illustrate parts of the image you want. So whether that's with the camera movement, framing, or showing the colors in the image. There's a super cool color palette graphic that shows the hex code of the color. But don't panic, you don't have to know all the codes off by heart. As soon as you change the color of each box, the hex code changes automatically. Now, if that's not worth a like on this video, I don't know what is. My personal favorite is this camera setup. This one graphic alone adds so much and creates a way more aesthetic way of explaining the shot. Not to mention how much time it's saving for me having to do all of these things one by one. And the last section we have inside the titles are these three backgrounds. And these can be super helpful when we get into the next section, but they essentially provide you with some texture and patterns to put behind your text instead of video. So how I recommend using these assets to get the most out of them is actually combining them. Don't be limited to just using a title or just an add-on. You can fill your frame with as many of these as you want. So now is where the pack really gets good. And that's inside the effects tab. We'll now be dragging the effects directly onto the clips or placing them on adjustment layers for further control. So we have two main types of placeholders here. One that requires multiple clips and the other that you can apply directly to a single clip. So if I take this board placeholder, here you'll see it duplicates the clip when instead it should show six different clips. So to get the intended effect, we'll need to put six clips onto the timeline, highlight them all, right click and select a new fusion clip. And now when you apply that placeholder effect, you have that really cool storyboard look. And then if you wanted to change the order of the clips, all you need to do is right click, open in timeline, and then change the order of the layers there. Each layer number will be the board number inside the placeholder. So layer one is frame one, you get the idea. And then the other type of placeholder we have here is something like the scenes, where you can describe an entire scene with all of these details in one frame. So dragging that on, you can see the footage is placed in the top left. Then we have all these different text boxes around it, where you can see the scene details, dialogue, and script just a super effortless way to really show off the breakdown. Now, remember before when I mentioned about using backgrounds to add a little bit of depth and texture? Well, that's exactly what we'll do here. I'll first remove the background from this tab. Then in the background layer from the titles tab, I will drop this on, adjust the color of this paper background to make the text a little bit more visible. And just like that, we've added way more depth. So utilizing all the elements of this pack, you can really create some extensive breakdowns of your scenes so that the audience can fully understand the picture. There is so much opportunity here, and if utilized well, you can truly bring your audience behind the scenes. And to finish off, we have the transitions. These are super easy to use where you'll drag and drop the transitions between the clips and adjust the length of them by dragging this box here. The transition will then automatically adjust the length of time. 
And just like everything else in this video, you can fine tune and adjust the look of these inside the inspector tab until you get your desired result. So I hope this overview has been helpful for you to better understand how to use M Storyboard. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please drop them down in the comments below or head to the website at motionvfx.com. I've been JC and this has been your DaVinci Resolve overview for M Storyboard. I'll see you in the next one.